Hey y'all, Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm out here with Ruby Van. And although I might want to change the name to Ravishing Ruby, uh, one of my subscribers came up with Ravishing Ruby. And I like that name. I like that song. Good Tom T. Hall song. So, <laughs> just cobwebs. Today's project is I'm going to try to take these center seats out. Uh, I don't know how to do it. And I've got to disconnect the seat belts. If I can disconnect it here. And then figure out how to disconnect it up there. Um, but it shouldn't be too hard. I'm guessing. But I need to get back to that back seat so I can figure out how to get that thing to work again and raise up. And I need more room up here so I can lay down on the floor and get back there. So I'm going to pop these seats out and see what happens. I'll let you watch and laugh at me while I try different things. Alright, well, I got the seat belt off. It really wasn't that difficult. Um, just a simple bolt nut getting a wrench on the bolt on the inside and a socket on the nut and working it free you don't have a whole lot of space so now as best as I can tell if I can see this in here you can see how this is latched on here and I believe all I have to do is move that lever to the back and that should free up well maybe not I don't know yet <laughs> it obviously has to come this way to get out of those holes there so let me experiment a little bit and see what happens Well, that was kind of catastrophic filming. Uh, I've really accomplished very little with videoing because it's so hard to video and work at the same time. So what I will do is show you. I did, in fact, get the seats out, and it wasn't that bad of a problem. It wasn't too hard. Got the seat belts removed, so everything is put in the shed. And you'll notice something else. Let me get up in here. See if I can get a good enough shot. But from up front, you can see. I don't know how well you can see. There's a lot of room. And I have the seat working. I actually got the sofa bed to work. And I'll show you how I do it. <laughs> Um, I was really worried about it. I've been working on the electrics. And this is electric. Let me climb back out of here. But yeah. There's a lot of room in this thing. And I'll go around back. And I will use this switch. Remember I said I had these switches? And you can see how much room there is. From the seat. Going up there. So, let's go sofa down. It's not quick. nice and quiet and does its job and becomes a bed now we have to clean it uh, yeah take it back up no need to take it all the way down but it goes right back up 
That's slick. I like that. And I don't know if this will work without the engine running or not, this 12 volt. Sure does. A vacuum cleaner that actually works. That just blows me away that I got this to working. And it has its own spot here in the back. So it's just a 12 volt outlet and a little vacuum cleaner. That's pretty slick <laughs> in my book. But uh, yeah. So I have made some progress. I'm still working on the windows. I haven't got those quite ironed out yet. But I'm definitely glad I got those middle captain's chairs out. And I'm still debating. I'm probably going to take this sofa bed out and build a bed. I'm not going to destroy anything, but I may take this out build a bed um, there'll be a lot more storage underneath it this bed has a lot of framework involved and if I made a bed we could have all the storage underneath it but I did want to show you it does work now that took a while to figure out but I'm happy I managed to get this done. I think it's cool. And these, by the way, on the two sides are coolers with little drains in the bottom. So each side has a cooler. And then now you can see the where the headphones go for each side for the stereo or the TV. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Maybe if I sat in it, I could show you how much room there is. But sitting in the seat now, well, no, it really doesn't make much of a difference. But there is a lot more room now. I like it. And now, to show you the next project, these are getting done. I've got a new air filter, a new fuel filter, well, that's the oil filter. <laughs> fuel filter's still in the house, duh. Uh, thermostat and gasket, five quarts of oil, and I think of oil treatment. The I know now it runs. I know it's worth going further into this process. Um, that's cheap motor. You know, I bought cheap. Bought a cheap air filter because this is going. I'm going to change the oil and filter and all that. Put in the fuel oil treatment. Um, but before I take this is just to continue on the process what I'm doing testing it out doing test drives making sure everything works brakes all that so I can run it and not worry about the old oil uh, same with the fuel changing the fuel filter so that gets out of the way uh, before I take it on its first road trip I'm going to change the oil again and put uh, synthetic motor oil in it or at least half synthetic uh, break it in that way and I got a new thermostat and gasket for it because I've noticed when I've had it running just testing things out I don't get any heat uh, it doesn't warm up so I'm hoping that the thermostat is stuck open I mean I sat for six years so I'm hoping it's just the thermostat being stuck open 
I'll replace that before I replace the uh, cool and temperature sensor. That would be the next thing to test. Uh, it's not getting hot, so it's not overheating. I think it's just the water just continuously running through it, so it never really gets a chance to heat heat up. So that's going to get done, and we'll test it. And if this all works out, then the next step is the brakes, flushing the radiator out, changing the coolant. Uh, all the brake fluid is going to be replaced. On the front, I'm going to do uh, brake pads, rotors, and calipers, and rubber brake hoses. The guy already had stainless steel brake lines put on it. But the rubber hoses I'm going to replace... Same with the back rubber hose I'm, I'm going to replace. Now, those are drum brakes, so, you know, we'll look at them. I don't know if I have to do anything to them or not. But I'm going to do complete, complete front brakes. Uh, that's one thing I don't want to mess with, the brakes, when we're out there on the road. So, that's my update. Uh, like I said, this stuff works out. Then, you know, the next step will be... The next major thing in the motor area is going to be go ahead and change out the spark plugs, the distributor, the rotor, the plug wires. I'm going to do all of that. Uh, the belt, the hoses, they look like they were new, but they're, you know, they've been sitting there for six years. So I'll put a new serpentine belt on, I'll put new hoses on. What's in there now, I will put in a box and carry with me I'll, as you know, in case a uh, hose blows out or a belt breaks, I'll have a spare I know that will get me by. Uh, it'll get me to a place where I can get a new one to put on. At least I'll have confidence in that. But yeah, this is what I managed to do. We got some, you know, work. <laughs> so I've been spending more time at work. Uh, we got to go out to St. Bernard Acres Saturday just to look over the place. Everything is fine. Uh... You know, there's some stuff going on that you know I can't get into right now, so I'm not doing a whole lot of work out there right now. Uh, but it's all good. But this is Joe here in Wheeling, <laughs> working on this project. This is I, I do believe I'm going to be calling it Ravish and Ruby. Uh, I like that name better than Ruby Ann, so I think I'll stick with Ravish and Ruby. Because I don't want to say it's pink colored, it's ruby colored. <laughs> but this is Joe. I hope you like this. Share it, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel so you can go along with, you know, as I bring this thing back to life and actually use it and go on road trips with it. But I hope you enjoyed it. I'm out.